Mama's window is busted. What happened? Who did it? A crackhead. <laughs> it stole her wallet. <laughs> Hello there, lovely viewers, and welcome to Monday. You know Monday, your friend Monday. The Monday that does not want to hurt you. It doesn't want to do anything bad to you. It wants everything good for your life. You know your friend Monday. <laughs> hey, we know Monday is lying when it says that. We know, I mean, I don't know about you, but I've never had a good Monday, like ever. The, the most Monday has ever offered me is your kidney will not fall out of you today. Well, thank you. Unfortunately, Monday is just something we all have to put up with. Like universally, it's something that like brings humanity together is we all hate Monday. So let's go, let's do this, do the Monday dance. Monday dance, we gotta get through this, we gotta get through it. So we have to, we have to pay our homage, we have to pay our respects to Monday and maybe it'll leave us less alone because it is a giant crap sandwich. Speaking of sandwich, that's Salante. Oh, hey dude, how's it going? says, yes, hot dogs in buns are sandwiches. They're just mini subs. I don't know why people get so hot and bothered over it. I mean, just look at a sausage sub sandwich, then imagine it being hit with a shrink ray. Bam, hot dog. I don't know why people are so passionate over that argument. They get mad about, well, it's a hot dog. No, it's not. Yes, they, 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 them's fighting words. I do not care what it's called. The only thing that is important to me is that it's food. More specifically, if it's my food. You can call it anything you want. You call it stank butt, and I'll be like, excuse me, would you pass me that stank butt? I would like to eat a stank butt. That won't bother me, I'll eat it, and I'll be happy with it, especially if it's got relish and mustard on it. That's, that's my style of stank butt. <laughs> I hope you all had a wonderful January. We, we've already made it through the first uh, month of the year, which is kind of like getting through the first day of the week, right? So. January is sort of like the Monday month, but now we're in February. Well, almost. We're near, we're this close to being in February. So just hang on like another day and then we'll be in the, the Tuesday of the year. So uh, yeah, let's, um, speaking of Mondays, Tuesdays, stank butts and whatever, uh, let's take a look at your world. <laughs> Oh God, oh wow. <laughs> ah, yes, yes. Oh man. Yes, it's become that time of the year, the mating season of trucks where they get all excited and then shaky before they try to jump on another truck and mate with it. And then they have little babies, these little VWs that are running around. They are so adorable. <sighs> Nature is so beautiful. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> nice! Very nice! Well, I mean, I, I don't know about you, but if, like, I was a fish, and I just realized I was a fish, and like, wow, I, hey, there's people walking around outside, and oh, God, I'm a fish! I, f fuck it! I would jump right out of the water and just try and walk away. Of course I would die, but it's really the effort that counts, isn't it? <laughs> no. Whoa. Oh boy. Ouch. Oof, that looked a little painful. Yeah, so we're gonna, I'm noticing a, a sort of a system here. I'm noticing a kind of routine. When it gets winter time, we start getting all the good uh, videos from summer. And then when it's summertime, we start getting all the good stuff from winter. So right now, we're probably gonna start seeing people like on boats, wrecking them a lot and falling off of piers and jumping off of boats wrong and whatever. But, but. By the time spring and summer rolls around, then we're gonna to get to see people sliding down the stairs. They're filming it right now. Boy, I hope it's entertaining. Why are you upset? You're mad I made my own coffee? It's like, do you even need me anymore? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, wow. Uh, uh, listen, I don't wanna be the one to explain this to you, dude, but um, there are other ways that you can be useful to your wife it, 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 has anybody explained the birds and the bees to you? I mean, I'm no relationship expert or anything, but if the only thing you're good for in your relationship is making coffee, then I, I <laughs> there are probably a few extra tricks you need to learn. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Wow. Wow, crazy. Oh, 
Oh boy, and ooh. I mean, that was just, that was awesome big thing. I, the driver though, the balls on that driver. I mean, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't want to drive by that thing in a windstorm, even if it wasn't falling down, but here it's like coming down and the driver's like, you know what? I think it's going to swerve first. So yeah, it's a very interesting accident. And um, man, that, that driver, ooh, just the guts on that guy. I'm making a bad decision. Uh, yes, you are. <laughs> oh my God, wait. No, no, you can't stop. No, you can't wait now. <gasps> oh, now you're crying. Wait, I'm gonna... <laughs> I can't feel sorry for you. I just, I can't. I mean. Oh my God. <laughs> um, you really didn't think this. Oh, hey, no, wait a minute, I'm cheating. I mean, come on, the whole value of watching that thing was to see how crappy she was gonna look after she was done, and then they're like, nope, not gonna show you. I'm I'm gonna sue someone. Someone's getting sued over that. Yes, officer, I did see the speed limit sign. I just didn't see you. I mean, come on. Come on, it's, that's, why not? Why not with some honesty? Why not just have an honest thing for once and go, you know what, yeah, that, how many, I, I don't think any of you guys out there slow down for speed limit signs. You slow down if there's a cop. If there's a speed limit sign, you don't care. So, I mean, I, everybody has done this. It's good to see some, just some plain honesty every now and then, even if it does indicate that human beings are evil and the devil incarnate. He picked me up and we were going to mama's work. Mama's window is busted. What happened? Who did it? A crackhead. <laughs> it stole her wallet. <laughs> wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Backing up, backing up. What happened? Who did it? A crackhead. <laughs> Aha! I have determined that from now on, the word crackhead is, is no longer valid from now on. From now on, that word is now a quackhead. <laughs> That's... Okay, I, I, I love... I love this... I love this child. You've just... You just helped me with my Monday. I, I'm... I feel better. I feel better! I, we, we can make it. We can do this. Uh, where are we? Oh, Russian and... Is that a chainsaw? Oh, well, you know, as you do, you just, when, when you're going to steal a chainsaw, you know, just sort of pack that in your pocket, don't ya? Nah, nah, you got it. Nobody's going to notice. Nobody, nah, nah, you're just fine. I mean, every time I steal a chainsaw, I've got 32 of them in the garage. You know, it's easy. Just, you know, slip them in your pocket. Nobody notices. Just walk right on out with it. Whoa, what was that? Whoa, whoa, is that a, is that a Coke? Hold up, back up, back up. I think, I'm not sure, but I think somebody knocked like a Coke or a can of soda or something and it, it took off. I, is that? Boom. And then, whoa, God, that would have killed him. Holy crap, it's a good thing he ducked. I mean, I like caffeinated beverages, but I didn't know they could go weapons grade. And... Ooh, oh, ooh, oh. <laughs> Just a horse EXE is not working. That's <laughs> Hoofy, why are they feather hoof? Why are they doing that? F F feather hoof, you gotta explain to me, dude. I don't understand horses. That looked like they it looked like the colonel just got corrupted. See, now the next time that I talk with feather hoof, I, I want to see if I can get him to do that. What do you? I don't know what you have to do to make a horse flip out and turn around and go, maybe yeah, you have to just, maybe it's a smell. Does somebody in that carriage fart? Because if, if that's what happened, then, well, I guess I understand it. I, but I have no idea. It's a mystery. This Sesame Street Muppet will become the first to experience homelessness. Oscar the Grouch has been living in a trash can for 49 years. Yeah, what the hell about that? I mean, it's like Oscar the Grouch has lived in a trash, by the side of a building in a trash can. Everybody has a home. Uh, everybody does. Bert and Ernie have an apartment. All the people have an apartment. Even Big Bird's got his little corner over there where he has a nest. They all have a home, but 
Oscar's in a garbage can the whole time. And you just, and don't do the thing where it's like, well, the garbage can is actually his home. Don't do that. Because I, okay, you know what? A homeless person, the streets are his home. See? And nobody is homeless. Everyone has a home. I just solved a global fucking problem. I mean, come on. You got to. You got to give Oscar some respect here. Guy's 50 years old, trash can the whole time. All right, here's Oscar, this is for you, buddy. Right there, right there. Damn. <laughs> you know, that that's kind of, I, I've seen cashiers like that. They used to have them. They used to do that a lot more often. And they do one of the old manual ones, and they just be, zinging it through and you'd, you'd have to be on the other end with a catcher's mitt so uh i mean i don't know if they do that so much now but i don't know i guess maybe they do huh? mm. middlesbrough won't have it tomorrow 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 <laughs> tomorrow tomorrow <laughs> it's tomorrow not tomorrow <laughs> butter butter <laughs> butter butter Listen, butter, butter. That's it. Say again. Butter. Very good. Thank you very much indeed. Standard English on the streets of Teesside. <laughs> Together, we can do this. <laughs> Damon Green, ITV <laughs> News, in Middlesbrough. Uh, I, I've got to, I have to admit, I'm, I'm, a, I'm not in the right perspective to, to grasp this entirely. Because to me, they both sound like British accents, but I'm, I'm guessing that might be an annoying accent to people in England or around there, but I can understand that because there are some American accents that we get annoyed by. Somebody, let me know if, if like, if you're over in England and what accent was that? And why is it annoying? Explain that to me in the comments below. I want to know. Aww. Oh, are the flower petals hey. going to lead to a... So to like a, a full sink of dishes? I've seen that before. So not so good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, well that was that was original. I've I've never I've never seen that one before. I, I mean, I've seen it to where the flower the flower petals will lead to like you know the laundry room or or to a sink full of dirty. I've never just seen someone get smacked in the face with a pot. <laughs> Uh, but I guess sometimes we all get unexpectedly smacked in the face like this. Patreon.com slash Ranting Griffin. If you enjoy these videos or my gaming videos or the Dear 2 videos that are coming up or the videos on the weekends or just my living presence in this universe and you have a couple of dollars laying around that you don't really need at the end of the month, they really would mean a lot to me. Something I was talking about food earlier. I don't like... I don't want money to like buy spinny rims and new cars and expensive fly. I just want a sandwich on my plate. That's all I want. If you help me out a little, I, I really would appreciate it. And I'll still be here for you. And uh, we'll be <laughs> talking on Monday. Um, however, unfortunate it is that there will be more Mondays. 2022 appliances break within two years. 1970s refrigerator. I will outlive you and everyone you love. I am eternal. I am time itself. And this is absolutely true as well. I, I can practically guarantee that everybody out there watching right now has either had one of these or has had a family member that still has one of these and it's still sitting there and it's still running and it doesn't matter. The earth could melt away. This thing is going to be keeping ice cubes. You know, that's the way things always were before they started this damned planned obsolescence crap. <laughs> Whoa! Hell okay. Okay, educational part of today. Being someone who has been a guitarist in many rock bands back in the day, um, that looks fun. You see that happen. And what what he was trying to do was he was trying to sling the guitar so it would flip around his shoulder and come back. A lot. Of, one of the mistakes a lot of people make is that they do it with a normal guitar strap, and all that is is just a, basically like a little buttonhole that goes over a little knob on your guitar. Now. If you do that with a normal, it'll fly right off like that did. If you want to like keep it on, you got to have one that actually fastens on your guitar and won't let it go. Otherwise, you'll you're, the next time zone will be getting a free guitar. Uh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> the look on the guy's face, like what? Huh? I guess another educational portion of today's show is um 
How to steal an omelet without being noted. Was that an omelet? I don't even, it looked yellow. I have no idea what that was, but, um, motherfucker stole it. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh, that bad idea. Oh, instantly bad idea. All right, I, I don't know. That looked like his mom or something. Like, but that, that does not look like the kind of thing you should do to that kind of mom. I mean, we talk about people sometimes it's like, well, you're going to have to sleep on the couch tonight. Th this guy will be lucky if he is not drawn and quartered. I mean, if he, if he makes it through the night and all of his internal organs are still internal, lucky guy. Oh no, don't do, no. Nope. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> if you are ever in London and you're going down to the tubes, uh, that's, you'll see that, and it's tempting. It really looks, it looks like this big long slide, but don't do it. That's why they put those little signs in the middle. So eventually, one's gonna knock your ass off, and it's, it will break your butt bone. So, <laughs> as much fun as it looks, don't, don't, don't do it. You don't want a broken butt bone. 1987, this is your brain on drugs. 2023. You can't afford the egg, the gas stove is being outlawed, the only thing you can get is the drugs. Well, I mean, if you think about it, I mean, it's like, if you, you go out and get two dozen eggs, or, I'm actually curious right now, I wonder if the eggs would be more expensive than the drugs. I'm really, I'm really wondering that now. Any of you out there drug dealers, just let me know, and we'll just have a discussion. I get into my tires. Air yeah, in how your much time. did you pay for it, Camille? What? Eighty bucks. Oh. Why, Camille? Oh, look at that! Oh, look oh, at that! I need a premium air or something. Is it the Mercedes? Oh. Oh, I feel so bad. Oh no! I hope that was like a practical joke on Dad. Did you see him? It was. He took that personally. You can see that on his face. He's like, you know, I, I helped to make this thing and it just spent $80 on air for its tires. You can see him. It's like, this is my fault. Somehow I messed up that I, oh, I feel really bad for that dad right now. And somebody, somebody needs to sit down with that kid and, and teach her a few things like very obvious things. And oh, well, you ain't getting that back, are you? Bye bye. <laughs> well, that's gonna record a real fun video on the way down. And somebody down there is gonna be standing there. And it's like a phone. Poof. Thank you, Jesus. Free phone. <laughs> I am puzzled. That one I don't. I don't explain. Somebody explain that one to me. They're they're out. They're dancing in public on the sidewalk in front of everyone and then when they notice someone is watching them they flip out B -b <laughs> my brain is too old and too lazy to try and calculate this shit so somebody please explain to me why they were suddenly surprised i don't get it oh this is gonna not go good no whoa Oh, that just went in, didn't it? That just... <laughs> Boy. I want to call that a swing and a miss, but he hit something. He hit the, the, the ceiling and it went right through it. Well, speaking of swings and misses, while most Mondays are swings and misses, and sometimes they're swings and they hit you in the wrong place, like right in the junk, we have paid our dues. We paid our dues to Monday, okay? So all you have to do now, remember the routine. You know, straight forward, we paid our dues. Now don't look Monday in the eye anymore. We've come, we've bowed to the Monday Godfather. We backed out slowly. Now you don't look at it anymore. You, you put on this and you go forward until Tuesday. Remember, like this. And that's how we get through it. Once you're, to, once you're at Tuesday, it's all beautiful. It's all good until, well, the next Monday. And, and then it and then it's crap again. Guys, that was a look at your world. I really enjoy doing this. I know sometimes uh, I, I miss 
one of these every now and then. And that's the reason that because this making these videos uh, like this one right here takes like maybe five, four or five times as long as it takes for me to make any other video. So if I like have if I don't have enough time to work, this is usually the first video it affects. But you guys are still here with me and I, I love spending this time with you and I love that you're here with me as well. So I, I, I really love spending, I know it's hard to say this, but I love spending Monday with you guys. Aww. Yeah. So I'll keep doing what I do, you keep doing what you do because you're awesome at it. And I will see you guys again very soon.